Today in Tenable I.O., we have five pre-configured roles. Those are basic, scan operator, standard, scan manager, and admin. One role we, which we do not have is a credential manager role. And what I'm going to show is how you can simulate that role using, uh, using the basic role. So the purpose of a credential man is to be able to go into the system, enter credentials, and then to share those with other users, notably people who are running scans, so they can use those credentials in scans without having to share them using an Excel document or you know, over a piece of paper. So let me uh, run through how you would do this. So the I've created a a new user and I've named him credential manager. As you can see here, I've set him up as a basic user. Now, the basic role is intended to be a read-only role. One of the very few non-read-only uh, read actions is that they can actually create and share credentials, uh, credential objects in the system. So I'm gonna show here that I can, uh, I'll impersonate a user. I'll, I'll impersonate this, uh, this role and I'm gonna go to the settings section, look at credentials. And what I've done already is I've created two credentials and one of those credentials, I these are both Windows credentials. One of those credentials I've shared with the standard user, so standard at sandbox.io. The other credential I did not share with anybody. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, leave this user and I'm going to impersonate the standard user and then go create a new scan and see which credentials I can utilize in that scan. So, all right, so this would be um, credentialed scan and put some target in there. Okay, so now here, I can either add a credential directly to the scan or I can use the managed credentials that we've created. So when I hit add here, what you'll notice is that the Windows credential that was shared with me shows up as a valid credential that I can use. The credential that was not shared with me is not listed here. So I can select this credential, hit add, save the scan, and then now I have credentials. So in a nutshell, you can utilize the basic user to simulated credential manager. One thing that I'd like to call out is that you can further lock down the basic user if you don't want them to have any access to see things in the system that they're not allowed to see by using utilizing the access groups feature. You could read more about that on uh, the documentation on Tenable.com.